For many simple lighting systems, an LS core or LS1 console with an LS node or multiple LS nodes can easily be deployed to make a quick and easy installation. In this video, I want to create a simple network that allows a user on an installation to connect wirelessly to their LS core and then have DMX control sent out to multiple LS nodes or maybe just a single LS node. The first thing we'll do is set up the LS node. Now, I'm doing this in Windows, but there are similar instructions on the Mac side. So the first thing we're going to do is connect our LS node or nodes, if there are multiple, one at a time directly to the Ethernet port on our computer. Next, I want to go to Change Adapter Settings here in Windows, and I want to find my Ethernet adapter. Go to Properties, Internet Protocol Version 4, Properties, and I want to set a static IP address. Now, in this case, I'm going to set the static IP address of 2.0.0.200, okay, with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0. What this allows me to do is log into the nodes at their default IP addresses, be able to configure them so that then I can simply connect them to the Light Shark and have them work in a few minutes. Once you've set that up, close all the network configuration windows. And then we'll go ahead to the IP address 2.0.0.1. If for any reason this IP address doesn't respond, go ahead and use the reset button on the LS node to factory reset it. But if it's new out of the box, it should be set at 2.0.0.1. You'll briefly see this loading screen, and then you'll see your device settings. Here I'm connected with an LS node 1 for a simple system where maybe you have that LS core or LS1 in a rack or at a front of house position, and you simply want to run a network cable to a single LS node that might be on the truss, okay? What we're going to do is change the IP address. That's the first thing we'll do here. By default, the IP address of the Light Shark and the nodes are both 2.0.0.1, and this will create a conflict if we connect them together. Therefore, we'll change this IP address just by holding or double tapping, and we'll set our first node to 2.0.0.2. We want to stay within the same range, so 2.0.0. anything, um, really any number from 2 to about 240 is a good number to use. So I just like to go in order. Again, this is for a closed network where we're just connecting out of the network port of the LS core to the node and then potentially to multiple nodes depending on the needs. So this first node would be 2.0.0.2. If I needed more nodes, I could go with .3, .4, .5, etc. Next, once I press OK there, the device is going to reboot to set that IP address. Once it reboots, the browser automatically redirects and you should be now at the page 2.0.0.2 and that IP address is now set. You can name your node as well if you desire. That's just for your own use. Next, we'll go to port setup. Across the top here, I see DMX port A. This is an LS node 1 that just has one port. The nodes that have more ports will have multiple tabs, port B, C, and D for an LS node 4, or just port A and B for an LS node 2. By default, DMX is enabled. The port direction is out. It's set up using ArtNet. It's set up as single and universe 0. For the Light Shark, we want to set this up as SACN, so we'll press ACN here, and leave it at Universe 1. Universe 1 is the first universe in the Light Shark where you begin patching. If you're going to have multiple universes or multiple nodes, you'll probably put them on different universes, the first node being Universe 1, the next node or port on the node being Universe 2, then 3, 4, etc all the way up through eight potential universes on your LS core or LS1. Once you've set that up, you can go ahead and close this window. Now, we'll connect our LS node to our LS core directly with the network cable. Of course, 
in the picture here, they're next to each other, but it might be a much longer Ethernet cable up to 100 meters uh, for your permanent installation. Once you've got the two connected and powered up, let's connect to our LS core. I've connected via the Wi-Fi, and so now I can go to the IP address 2.0.0.1 or lightshark.work. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go into my preferences, go to DMX Setup, turn it to ACN, press Apply, and reboot the console. Once this change takes place, you'll now have DMX output out of your node, provided, again, it's connected directly to the network port on the LS Core or LS1, and you've connected the two and configured them as I've shown them in this video. Congratulations! You've now got a working basic network setup with an LS core and one or multiple LS nodes. Thanks.